Welcome back, everybody, to the adventures of your favorite predators, including Wavi Einstein, who's apparently growing some trees right now. So, nothing particularly important has happened. You know, normally I try and start the episodes when something, uh, when we've got all our work done, or when there's been some some progress made, or something like that. But today I've decided to start because we've got, and this could be, this could result in absolutely nothing here. But we've got a group of people heading vertically through the map, so they just spawned in down here now. I don't know if you can tell, but if they're going up here, and if they want to leave them up via this area, there's only one way they can go, and that's straight through the alien nest. Oh my god, some the muffalos from yesterday wandered into the alien nest. That's so good. Okay, um, is this one already impregnated then? Oh my god, this is so good. So unfortunately, yesterday our little experiment with Vladislav the taxonomist didn't pay off, so I'm, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, this will go basically exactly as you'd expect so let's keep an eye on them see if they decide to i don't they will i think they will probably hang this way but what that might encourage us to do is actually build this wall here first to start off with if they detect that as the fastest way to get out of the map yeah i think they're going the wrong way look at this also um many comments about how we should you fools you absolute morons oh <gasps> Oh my god, I think they're actually going the right way. No, they're not. They're not. They're definitely going... Oh, that's a shame. Okay, we'll build a wall across there for the next thing we do, I think, just to uh, help encourage them to go in the right direction. Anyway, a lot of you guys have come up with some really, really good suggestions for how we can help kickstart the alien hive. Apparently, they've already got themselves some hard drugs, so I think they're already on it. My god, look at the eggs. There's genuinely, like, what, 100, 134 eggs in the hive now, so no matter what it is, I think even a thrombo, if they walk through now, would be completely fucked. So... What I was going to say is, is some of you guys have had some great ideas. Firstly, one of the ideas was to send the animals we get, like the wags and whatever, into the alien base just so they get face and so they actually turn out new hive members. The issue is what we really need is humans because the runners, uh, which will be produced when we send animals up there, any runners will just run around the map killing whatever they can and taking it back to the base. That includes our people. So they'd just be a massive pain in the ass, really. What we're really looking for to kickstart the colony is humans. Because those will turn into either drones or warriors. Warriors for defending the queen. Drones for actually working. Going out, grabbing animal carcasses or corpses. Or not corpses, I guess. Knocks down animals. Um, incapacitated animals. Bring them back to the base. Webbing them up so that the facehuggers can get on them. But unlike the predator that we've seen and unlike this muffalo, they won't just wander around randomly after they've been grabbed. They, they will actually get cocooned up to the walls so we need to get ourselves some humans you guys pointed out that uh, somebody yesterday in the comment section great suggestion that if any humans turn up if we get a crash drop pod or anything like that we should recruit them not for joining our colony here but to send them up to the alien hive i think that's a really really great plan along with obviously finishing off the war crimes for the rest of today that's the goal i know i've said this two days in a row now but we are not finishing today's episode until these walls are built and the wall thing we set up yesterday, I thought it wasn't working, but it is working. It just has taken them a long time to lay the groundwork to obviously build the bridges, chop the trees, whatever else. So that's going full steam ahead. So they are making a small amount. You see they've got some bricks delivered there. This shouldn't take too long to get this area bricked off, and that will, of course, force them down this way. Now, rather than finishing off this area, I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. Look, they've, they've even uh, started to lay some bridges down here ready for the walls. Instead, we'll focus them up here. Then what I want to do is actually focus them into the nest. So we want to uh, build this wall first and maybe this wall next so that if they want to leave by the top of the map they have to either go all the way around here which they probably won't do because it'll be very slow but it would just increase the chance of them actually going through there so they've, they've spawned two runners from those uh from those muffalo which chances are we're going to end up killing oh that's very convenient the nest is full of high explosive shells anyway we're probably looking at um we're probably looking at just killing these things off. I don't think the runners are going to be too effective at all because they are just going to come for our predators and then we're just going to kill them dead. So they're not going to be super effective. But drones, warriors, that those are the things that will help build the nest. I wonder what causes the tunnel to expand. That'd be really interesting to know. I also wonder what it expanding actually does because right now, uh, obviously right now they've got the queen, they've got the eggs. I wonder what else that will contribute, whether, whether it will just spawn in aliens or something like that, very similar to like an insect hive. Because obviously you get dormant versions of those as well. I'm not sure. We'll keep a close eye on that and we'll just make sure, I don't know, maybe when it fills up with eggs, maybe when the purple area fills up with eggs, it'll then expand. Oh, Jeff's back. Okay, so Jeff was catatonic yesterday because, of course, he was in so much pain from the from the uh, old gunshot there, from the mechanites as well. There's no way we can deal with that at all. Of course, you can't cure fibrous mechanites. There's no way to deal with the torso, an old torso scar. So that's just something he's going to have to put up with. For the time being, though, he's got a decent amount of catharsis. Oh, shit, speaking of which. Yep, there we go. Runner's already after us. God damn it, that's a real shame. So it just means that the... Oh, shit. Um... Help, 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 help. I was kind of hoping we could get away from that in time. Help us. We're going to have to hunt that other one down then to, so that things like this in the future don't happen again. Run and gun. 
Run and gun fella? Oh, we might. Yeah, he was okay by himself. Sorry, it was me being a little bit overzealous there. I want to be careful we don't lose anyone else after that disastrous raid yesterday. That should have worked. I was really disappointed by that raid not working. I haven't given up on that either, but I know that we've got to be hyper cautious and sort of plot things out a little bit better. Raiding and robbing friendly cities should work fine. We could legitimately go and uh, go and steal some things from them. Maybe when the next Predator shipment turns up, we'll send two of them to a city, a friendly city, and then have them rob whatever they can and come back to the base to sort of uh, bring in some nice resources there. Yeah, this other runner is going to immediately gun for us, isn't it? Moving, moving where? Oh, God, here we go. Um, yeah, it's immediately coming for the fucking base. Will you get out of here? Where are our guys? Are they all in the base? Oh, no, there's one down here. Oh, no, they're going outside. Okay, interesting. Um, let's get... Wabi Heinstein and uh, and and Bink Bink Jar Jara to come out here and just kill this one dead very briefly. Where, where's he gone? There he is. Okay, Boris, 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 Boris. I appreciate the effort. He's got the turret. Boris should be good. There we go. Okay, nothing to worry about. Whoops, shit. Accidentally moved the entire game window. Then, right now we can go back to business. How's the war coming along, man? I should really double check that very briefly. Get out of here. Um, wow. Wow, that's some insanely good progress. Look at that. So if it isn't obvious from the crazy amount of progress that we've actually made on the wall today, I also redid all of their jobs. It's like I said I was going to do between episodes here just to make it a lot more streamlined. And I think it's worked out pretty well. We're just waiting on one of our constructors to actually go over there and fix things up. Oh, my God. What? A group of Yorchi from the thick skin have arrived in transport pods? Okay. Um, oh, it's one person on the other side of the map. That, that made it sound a lot more dangerous than it actually was. Hello. Oh, my God. He's wearing a full set of ornate gear. Excellent quality. Excellent quality. That's also excellent quality. And that's... Oh, my God. This guy's like a proper predator killer. He's got an excellent plasma caster. If we could take him alive, the gear implications from this are massive. Plus, we could take them and either, A, recruit them, because they are a predator, uh, have them prove themselves. Are they blooded? They're already blooded. Oh, they killed a mechanoid. Wow. Uh, does that count... It's only four points. They're not that well-blooded. Or we drag them up to the hive and we let the aliens have them. We'll see how it goes. I really, really want to take them alive so that we can get... They've got the best predator armor and they've got the plasma caster as well. So this would be incredible. Granted, not the best armor for combat, but they're the most expensive armor, I should say. Okay, so we're going to hide back here and we're going to wait for them to get close and then we're going to hit them over the head. We're going to... What are they doing? What, what are you doing? Oh my God. I thought genuinely then he was going to run up to the hive. Um... What are you doing? Can't really decide what to do there, huh? Okay, so we're going to run outside, and we're just going to club him over the head with... Oh, my God. We immediately hit him with a uh, spear gun there by the looks of it. We, we've got to take this guy alive. We, we have to. What the fuck are you doing? Melee attacking limestone. Don't attack my wall. Please don't shoot at me, though. I'm going to say turn off fire at will. Let's just go ahead and melee attack. Go, team. What up the plasma caster? Turn it off. Holy shit, that was close. Beat him to death. Beat him to death. Take his armor. Please don't kill him. Please don't kill him. knock him down. You are a fuck. You're a stupid idiot. Ah, oh, okay. Well, look, we've got another one. It's tainted, which is a, a massive pain in the ass. Um, I'm so annoyed by that. That's a real just. We got a weapon, so I suppose we got that going for us, right? Get him, get him hauled. Get him out of here. Fuck's sake. F is actually not wearing any armor right now that's tainted, and one set of tainted gear certainly won't upset him too badly. So let's go ahead and get that one equipped then. There we are. Um, it's going to lower his mood very, very slightly, minus five, but for some of the best armor in the game, we can't really complain about that one, huh? So let's also get this turret equipped too. So Peter Data also has the tainted armor, so we definitely don't want him using that one. I'm going to get him to drop the comedy stuff. We'll get that hold somewhere. Where are you? Uh, yeah, let's get that hold to the stockpile. Uh, Boris, what have you got? Tainted gear. He's got tainted plasma caster. Wabi Heinstein, then we'll give him the other tainted one. I don't think predators would give a fuck about this normally, would they? But we've got to accept this part of the difficulty of the gameplay here. And then you can have that as a melee weapon. That's pretty good. Um, obviously not tainted or anything like that, but you are lacking a melee weapon. Why don't we give you a knife then as well? I should I should have the club. That way if another predator turns up, we'll just get Wabi Heinstein to club him and drag them home. Oh no. I'm actually going to get him to equip the uh, Bink Jar Jara to equip the other club as well. So that when we when they turn up, we've got more chance of knocking them down rather than killing them dead. What have you got? You have no weapon uh, as a sidearm either, Boris. So Boris also gets a club. This is cool. So everyone now has some sort of... So, so clubs are obviously much better for knocking people down and not killing them, taking them prisoner. We've got three people with clubs. You have the... Com I don't need to have the combi staff. Why have you picked that up again, you fuck? Uh, we're going to drop the combi staff again so that he doesn't keep re-equipping that. That's actually really annoying. Why, the why did he do that again? I have no idea. It's clearly not on his loadout list anyway. Uh, just so he's got the xenomorph staff. You can have the combi staff then, I guess, as a sidearm instead. So uh, equip that as a sidearm and then we'll get him to put the bladed gauntlet just in the stop hug. That's not going to be as good as the uh, combi staff, realistically. Oh, wow. <gasps> 
Whoa, 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 advanced components, though. It's only going to give us one, which is a bit of a shame. Where has it landed? Oh, it's landed somewhere quite convenient as well. Should we see how five predators fare against one psychic ship? They're not very well. To be honest, we could have them equip some of the tainted armor just for this fight, just to ensure that we're not going to immediately get murdered here. So what have you got? Uh, you've got the hunting greaves. You've got the chest plate. Let's give you the uh, tainted biomask. You can wear this one as well, then. Obviously, don't want them to permanently have too much tainted gear. There we go. Okay. Um, is there anything else we want to equip? We've got... Have we got any better weapons? Because fighting, fighting mechanoids with a bow and arrow doesn't seem particularly good. Um, we've lost one of the spear guns because that was in the raid yesterday. Okay, you know what? That's fine. I want to get this dealt with as soon as possible. Because like I said, if we've got the stainted gear equipped and there are lots of other things that are affecting their mood, like the fibrous mechanoids, the pain, whatever else, I don't really want to... I really do, I don't want to leave this to get too bad for their, their health. Hey, that's not bad. That's a pretty sa straightforward safe raid. Um... Let's bait them over the... Let's get behind these sandbags and bait them over there, then. I really should have sent just one person to deal with this. To be honest, it was a very, very easy raid. My God, look at that. We've just went on the Lancer now, who's going to take probably no time at all. Are you going to actually attack? <gasps> you're walking in the woods. There's no one around, and your phone is dead. Out of the corner of your eye, you spot him. Shia LaBeouf. Shia's in the alien hive. Oh, my God, he's dual-wielding axes. I think Shia might accidentally kill the alien queen. Either that or Shia LaBeouf is about to get turned into an alien himself. Um. Uh. This is very peculiar. This is very strange. Shia LaBeouf turned up, stole our shells, and now he's leaving. He's not even going to get face hugged, is he? What the fuck did I just witness? That's so strange. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, let's deal with these mechanoids. Fucking Shia LaBeouf almost got turned into an alien host. Right, that is done with. Let's deal with this spaceship as well. Actually, should we put out these fires first? Let's deal with the fires first, and then we'll um, we'll sort the spaceship out afterwards, just because that is quite close to quite a lot of trees. Uh, there we go. Right, get that put out, and then we'll smash it as soon as possible. Well done, team. Honestly, just, just absolutely phenomenal work there. Let's go ahead and smash this with... Oh, we'll just melee attack it to death. I don't really mind. Done. Only one advanced component, like I said, but that's that's halfway to being able to train out our own advanced component, so you know what? Every cloud. And a lot of mechanoid bodies as well. That's the important thing here. Um, yeah, wow. I was really hoping that Shia LaBeouf would get facehuggered then. Somehow he managed to repel them, probably because he is, of course, Shia LaBeouf, so they stood no chance. My god. Oh, you fool. Um, he used the one component available to make a plasma caster. I'm thinking, is it worth letting it happen? No. No, it's not. I'm going to cancel it. I'm going to suspend that then for the time being. Otherwise, they'll just start to build those over and over. One thing I do want to build as soon as possible is a... Where is it? Uh, comms console. There we are. Okay. Um, I guess we could just put that in here. Given that otherwise... I mean, the base is obviously very small by design. We don't want it to be some sort of luxury predator hotel here. Um, I'll also put a couple of trade beacons in here so that we can actually trade some of our shit away. And then we want to probably put one outside so they don't just drop it into the middle of nowhere. Right, that'll do. Okay. So now we should be able to trade with trade ships as they come past. All we need to buy is one more advanced component and then we'll never have to trade with anyone again. It feels a little bit scummy to do it in the first place because they're predators. They probably don't trade. But... Otherwise, we're just going to be sort of stuck until another mechanoid ship lands or until we ambush a caravan if we get lucky. But of course, they'll stop sending caravans after a time. Excuse me? Uranium ore. Oh, that's useful. Wow. Um, another thing is that they finished the first section of war. So if enemies spawn in here, they will run across here. Then we want to build this whole edge uh, so that they're forced to obviously run up towards this area. Build this up, this up, and this up. Then they're going to run up to the top here. Now, one thing I've done is put a wall around here too so that they are forced to... Actually, no. Let... Hang on. Let me think about that. That's not going to work, is it? Um, no, 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 it was fine. What I wanted to do is put a wall there so that if aliens started coming for us, then, oh, sorry, put a door there instead so that if aliens came for us, we would be able to corral them through that instead. So we need to open up, uh, this area still or, or this zone, wherever it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, I'll go ahead and remove those plans there. In theory, it's going to force any enemies, even if they spawn all the way around here, right around the edge of the map through the alien nest and then down through here and down here. I just don't want them to have all the run of these planes. Otherwise they could try and ambush us or something like that. So I'm being very, very maybe overly cautious with it, but this should work and it'll be pretty fucking cool when it does. Okay. So let's make sure that we are trying to keep this sort of as low brow as possible. I don't want to waste too much time mining out half a fucking mountain after all. Right, there we go. Um, I'll get that queued up now, but I'm going to be very careful about sending them over there for obvious reasons because of all of their angry alien eggs. Um, besides that, though, we should be good, right? So I'm digging through there so that obviously they can... Why, why was I digging through there? I don't remember. I've got myself caught up in like five different projects. Anyway, that should work either way. What? Oh my god, she came down to the other nest to start laying eggs? 
This is where the old ne nest was, if you remember. Oh, fuck me. Okay, get out of there. She didn't actually attack us, though. Um... Yeah, that's that's horrible. That's horrendous. I, I don't know. Oh my god. Yeah, because if you look, it's the you can sort of see the miasma from where the last uh, Xenomorph slime times one. Oh my god. Um, what in the fuck do we do now, team? She filled that nest up and now she's oh the tunnel disappeared. Oh my god! I bet she laid an egg on the tunnel. It destroyed it. Well, that's a bit silly. Um, she, yikes! That is a lot of eggs, though. Fucking hell! I don't know what to do now then. I mean, if she's not going to attack us, it's very simple what we do. Um, we draft everyone, first and foremost. Bear with me on this. I'm going to have to be very careful. We turn off fire at will. And then let's take some limestone and let's brick her in. Let's just brick her fucking in. Get out of here. Who's our best builder? Uh, it will probably be Peter but Data in that case. Yeah, Peter Data. You could, my friend, start immediately working on this wall. Just brick her the fuck in. She's not attacking us. We're not going to attack her. That warg is not long for this world. She's downed. Raid. <gasps> Bad blood. Oh, come on. Now is not the time. Okay. Uh, they've dropped right on top of us. Where, where is right on top of us? Oh, literally right on top of us. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, luckily, we're all drafted and ready to go. So, feel sorry for this. Get in there. Get in with the clubs. Hang on. Club, 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 club. Uh, melee, melee, melee. Let's go. Melee attack. Melee attack. We are going to get some very good untainted gear, boys. Trust me on that one. Go. Rush her down. No, 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 not you guys. Not you guys. You guys you guys need to stay there. Um, they do have, they do have obviously, fire at will turned off, so they shouldn't be that much of a problem. Oh, you poor fool. This is your unlucky day, my friend. Second they spawn, they are going to get bum rushed. Boom. Go. No, no, no. Actually fight them, though. Melee attack. Why did you switch to your bow, you weird man? Right. Melee attack. Knock them down. Why did you... Am I losing my fucking mind? There we go. Okay, we're good. Knock her down. Knock her down. Don't kill her. Knock her down. Knock her down. Boris. Boris, we need to talk about you putting your weapon away, you weird. Why are you hitting her with a bow? I feel like something's not quite working properly. I'll, I'll check all the settings after this is over. Knock her down. You... What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? We sent them in with blunt weapons and still they killed them. Um... I don't know how they killed them. Bruise, bru bru crack the spine. That still wouldn't kill them. Bru bruise their neck? Uh, maybe... That's so stupid. We could have got ourselves so much good stuff there. All right. Fuck this game. It just does not want us to get any nice stuff. Right. Go about your business. Um, oh, no, no. We've got to deal with this fucking queen, haven't we? Sorry. Okay. Draft yourselves back up then. Okay. So we blocked, blocked her off there. I'm going to block this area off, but much more carefully this time. Uh, we're not going to be marching right up. That was sort of a necessity. This one is not so much. So you go and grab it and get, get yourself some more blocks. Um, and then we'll put a couple more here as well, I think, just for, just for safety. You go and work on that one. Everyone else can stand guard just in case some terrible awful things happen like that that's pretty that's pretty terrible awful uh go, go pizza data careful careful okay she's moving away she's moving away we might be okay oh my god we might be okay you fool is that walk been even face huggered pregnant late stage i assume not from not from us though uh right go about your business done queen is now officially uh officially stopped I, I mean, she might starve to death in there, so I don't really know what will happen. That's so odd that also the facehuggers aren't going for that. Maybe because it's pregnant? I don't know. Oh, there we go. No, it's actually been facehuggered. Right, there you go. Okay. Um, Orange has been attached by a facehugger, which is... Oh, attached to to a face, paralyzing her, but keeping them alive. Something needs to be done about this, but any attempt to move that I don't care. I don't care, to be honest with you. I'm really not that bothered at all. We could put a door on it and offer the queen sacrifice. That could work. My god, it sounds like Buckingham Palace. Let's do it. That could that could work pretty well. We can send in our animals. That way we can send in our people too. The issue is I don't want to make a hive down here. I wanted to make the hive at the top of the map. That was the whole point of building everything. That's gone a bit strange. Okay. Aid. Se several separate groups. My god, they are going crazy, aren't they? Um, I think they said one of them was actually the leader there, didn't it? Uh, several separate... What, one person? You think that's several separate groups, huh? Okay, fine. Not a problem. Um, we are still a little bit injured from that last raid. I'm still going to try and take them alive so that we can get our stuff from it there. Uh, okay. Well, let's see what they've... See what they've got planned. This is why we need the door as well. If we could, like, remotely open a door and just send the queen on them or set one of the facehuggers on them. Actually, that's something we legitimately could do here. Um, you know what? I'm not going to fuck around for, with it for the timing. It's a little dangerous to be doing stuff like that for obvious reasons. Come back to your favorite show, How to Club a Predator. All right, be careful here. Um, should we just should we just move in? What, what weapon have you got? What is that? 
They've got a plasma pistol. Okay, the plasma pistols, as we know, are famously quite terrible. Please don't kill them this time. Take them alive. <gasps> They've actually done it. My God, I never thought I would see the day. Okay, um, you know what we've got to do. You know exactly what we've got to do. Oh, we can't because it's not an enclosed area. That would be, though. If we set four prisoners, even if we remove the wall, it should maintain as a prisoner thing, shouldn't it? This is the best idea I've ever had in my whole life. Uh, door, right there. Peter Data, start working on that immediately. Be careful, for fuck's sake. Deconstructing limestone wall. This is so dangerous, my god. Uh, do they get back up? Why are you up? Oh, you're going in there to... Okay, let's strip them to start off with then. Let's at least get the gear out of it, just in case they accidentally bleed out or die. Boom! That's how you get some gear right there. Very nice. Uh, you might as well come and get this stuff on, because you've got nothing right now, my friend. Uh, no, 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 not capture. We want to, uh, force wear the plasma caster. Right, while you're doing that, Peter Data is going to very carefully, very carefully, remember, very carefully, open that up. Facehugger is going for who? Peter Data. Not for long, you're not. Here's how we're going to do it. Here's how we're going to do it. You're going to run over here as fast as your little legs will carry you. You are not going to get facehugged. None of you are. You're going to move up here. Okay, we're going to bait them over here. Oh my god, Bink Jar Jar. No, 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 don't fire, don't fire, please, please. Turn off fire at will. We're going to move down here, and then we're going to we're gonna lure it past the unconscious... Please. Get the, get the one on the floor! What are you doing? I'm so annoyed. I'm... Oh my fucking god. Okay, um... We might as well just kill him at this stage, to be honest with you. We might as well actually just kill them. Um... That's t they're too dangerous to be left alive. Fine, you go start working on the fucking door again. My God, uh, Boris, get your club ready. Get your club. Ready. While Heinstein has gone on a gone on a bit of a bit of a bit of a breakdown there, that's kind of understandable. All things considered. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, Bink Jar Jara. Um, we need to we need to take him out. We can't allow this to happen. Just club him to death. Oh, <gasps> it did it just disconnect and then it did it attached to that one instead. Wait, is that a more face hugger? Gonna attack. Oh? Oh my god, it actually did work. It cost us Bink Jar Jara to do it, which is a little bit annoying. Go so long, Bink Jar Jara. You were, you were the best of us. You weren't. It's not a big loss. Okay, you get this shit equipped. My god, that is that a war crime? That's absolutely a war crime. I don't even know why I'm asking. Right, okay. Let's uh, let's get this other shit hauled back then. Some of it's not very useful, I will admit. Actually, very little of it is, is any use, but uh, we'll still be a bit careful about how we handle this. Okay, so that should spawn a Pred Alien, which I'm hoping will just act like a drone. Uh, and help out the queen there. Boris, uh, let's get this stuff hauled. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try and get everything hauled back if possible. There we go. It's pissing off. It's leaving again. It's going back to the other hive. Okay, that's good, because if we put a door on it, in theory, it won't come back, so it won't be able to get there. It's going back to the other hive. Oh my god, thank god for that. So this is our own little personal, uh, breeding pen then, huh? Let's go and capture you, because we've got a door on it now. Uh, I'm gonna set it to not held open so that the, uh... So that the, the, the queen won't come back. And what are you looking like? Bear in mind, it will stamp. Oh, we need to also patch them up. Otherwise, they'll die. Bleeding out one hour. Oh, my God. Uh, Can I even tend to them fast enough? Well, I think they're going to die before we get them back. That sucks. Go on. Run fast. I think they're going to die on the way back. Damn it. Oh, that's so annoying. Never mind. Um, Yeah, deep sleep. Blooded marks. Oh, they killed a personal shuttle in hover mode. Is that how that works? Okay. Okay. Bit of a loss there, but look, we've, we've got ourselves some face hugger eggs for the future. So it was kind of a blessing in disguise, really. I want to make sure that we, ha we have that place locked down, though, so that people don't accidentally wander in there. I'm going to make that as not an allowed area for hopefully, hopefully obvious reasons. We'll use this as a prison. So n nobody in here. Nobody in here ever. Uh, maybe just up to the, obviously, the prisoner bed there. But everything else, stay the fuck away. Never, ever, ever go near. There we go, okay. That's cool. That's cool that we got ourselves some, some eggs, basically, to experiment with in the future. Shut that door. There we go, okay, we're fine. Bing Jar Jar gave his life valiantly. Bing Jar Jar died, but we have gained from this uh, many great things. Sorry, can you go and get yourself patched up? Because this is fucking ridiculous. You're bleeding everywhere, my poor house. Okay, someone go touch, uh, go, and, go and tend to Wavi Heinstein there. There we go. Well, I think it's time to send down another predator to the planet, then another one to get blooded. Of course, when they turn up, they will have to fight an elephant straight away, so they might die straight away just to keep things nice and balanced there. Uh, first things first, let's go to... Who have we got, then? We've got Andrew as our last predator here. Um, what's What day of the season is it? 7th of Jugust in summer, so we should get some more predators soon. Uh, Prince Andrew. I mean, just Andrew. <clears throat> just Andrew. 
fuck, almost, <laughs> almost gave it away then. Let's get you on the ship as soon as possible. Let's blast him down. We'll just send him in a personal shuttle this time so we won't have to worry about sending it back or anything like that. Launch group, uh, let's send you down to our glorious Predator compound. Uh, go and drop it there. Shit, what have I done? Fortunately, Andrew the Predator is, is completely useless in almost all skills. The one thing he has got that no one else has got is he is the best one at cooking right now. Probably going to be Pizza Express. So I've got him on uh, on the cooking job there. I expect some very early food poisoning. But to be honest, as things progress, it, it actually, let's also reinstall that one in there in hindsight. Because uh, Predators have a lot more adaptability to the cold. It's worth it in the long term to help build him up to be a decent chef just so that we can stop using the nutrient paste dispenser eventually it's still not ideal is it and we need someone else to make packages of oatmeal so this is uh this is definitely worthwhile right so we need another bedroom we also should bury bink jar jar who we've just sort of left in the middle of nowhere so you deserve yourself a little bit of a grow who was this one? Oh, that was one of the uh one of the enemy predators turn up right Ooh, a paramedic called nog calls to you from nearby he's being chased by seven bad blood yorchi from thick skinned okay um Three bad bloods, one ancient, and three young bloods as well. So this is going to be a hell of a fight. Honestly, it might be a little bit dangerous. Okay, let's do it. But shall we do it? And it might spawn in right next to the alien nest, which would be quite fun. Um, he's a human. We needed a human. What if we could bait them up to the alien nest? That'd be interesting. Um, let's get you home to start off with, and then we'll see how it goes from there. Any second now? Uh, I said the raid is coming, get prepared, and then didn't? Um, did I? We've had this happen before in RimWorld. Like, it, this is n nothing uh, unique to this particular pack. We've definitely had this before happen in RimWorld. It's just, like, nothing nothing happened. I guess they changed their minds. I don't know if their caravan was intercepted or something like that. My friend, I'm so sorry, but you are going to be sacrificed to the hive. March him through. Goodbye. I, we just don't want the queen to kill him. That's the problem. I've, I've seen the queen kill, obviously, many people as they were coming through rather than have them uh, rather than have them turn. But this should make a warrior, a drone, something along those lines. Come on, Facehog. Get him. Oh, my God. We Come on. Come on. Nog, you've proven yourself as a blooded. My God, he's doing such a great job. Oh, finally. Oh, that's a bit, that's a bit awful. Goodbye, my friend. Your sacrifice was worthwhile. So we're either going to get a warrior or a drone out of that one, which will allow the nest to create more warriors or drones. So I'm a big fan of this. Uh, and then, of course, the only way they can actually get to us is via here. So I'm thinking we just cover this area in turrets just in case they do end up getting a load more runners, things like that. I also didn't realize he was 91. He's got a bad back, an artery blockage, and two cataracts. He was blind, and we just mar what marched him into an alien lair. Wow, that is... Uh, that is just fucking awful. That is just absolutely awful. That poor guy. Where are you going? Okay, sorry. I thought she was running back down to the other nest. But again, as we've got walls and doors running now, I don't think she can ever get back here. I think that we're. Uh, I, th I think that we've basically kept this as our own personal little collection of. We've got eight eggs, so that's kind of cool. Oh no! Nog shudders violently as a face hugger spasms momentarily. It's still attached. Something must have happened. Uh, yikes! There it is. Post impregnation. Oh shit! We'll keep a close eye on it. See what happens. But I think. I think we should be good. This one might actually spawn the first warrior. Late gestation, 89%. Oh my god, here we go. Okay, let's see. I, I mean, a drone would be ideal, because a drone would help build the nest into an actual nest this time, which is exactly what we're after. Oh no, it is a drone. Very nice. Okay, cool. So in theory, that should help build the nest. That should bring a lot of things over to be uh, to be grabbed by the facehuggers. There's not much wildlife on the map, is there? So I don't know what the hell they're going to go for. I guess they'll hunt the rhinos, maybe. We don't want them trying to hunt us, which is why I said we'll cover this area in turrets, things like that. Once we've dug this area out, they can go and hunt basically everywhere outside of the map edge. My God, we're already building this area, are we? Wow. Oh, they've, they've missed a zone here, but that's not a problem. Um, and obviously, we're going to block this up too. What is going on? Like all competing for uh, grass and things. Very weird. And then this area has kind of half finished. So at that stage, I mean, they can only really get... Actually, that would almost be the entire wall finished. Yeah, we literally just went on this bit now. Very nice. Let's go and get Andrew blooded then. So what's up? I mean, all of the unblooded use the same weapon, and that is the compound bow. I think that's a good trial by fire, isn't it? If you can kill an elephant with a compound bow, you're allowed to join us in the colony at that stage. Let's go and see. So we've got rhinos. Rhinos and elephants, oh, they were the same level, weren't they? So I guess we're going to kill uh, a rhino then, seeing as there are shitloads of them. So actually, are there any elephants left? I don't think there are. I think they've all disappeared. That's okay. Like I said, they're the same level, so that's pretty good. The only thing better on the map is the queen, and obviously we're not going to have him hunt the queen. Apparently, the, the queen is super, super powerful. We've been eaten by a drone. Oh, the the, the baby drone. That's that's not actually it. It's, it's under the egg there, because they're supposed to be tiny. Um, right, good luck. D get, get yourself some hunting in here, boy. Let's let's move you back very slightly. Don't want them to... Uh, don't want to accidentally aggro the whole thing and have them charge him down in a stampede. Okay. 
Don't uh, stamp uh, like a like a uh, rush. Sorry, I've got to be careful about my choice of words here. Okay, shoot the shoot the rhino. It's taking blood. Ah, we go. He's actually done it. Wow. Uh, it only just went on revenge there. That was too easy. My God. And there we are. Mood is up. Still not good by any stretch of the imagination. Because apparently he's tired. But well, you can go to bed now. You've had a nice hunt. Go and get yourself rested up, ready for school. Compact plastic. Hang on, that was exactly what we were after the other day, right? Oh, that's so good. I can't believe how I missed that. It was only two squares of it, so it's kind of understandable. That's awesome. Oh, goods trader. What do you think? Are we go are we go are we looking at finally our? So Wavi Heinstein is the one who's good at convincing people. Oh no. Okay, let's go see what they've got. Could this be our advanced component that we're looking for here? Um, yes, it is. Oh my god. Um, we can't afford it, so we're gonna have to trade them something. We've got loads of leather that we are never ever gonna use. My god, can we get a couple? Because obviously we need them for the plasma casters anyway, so we might as well buy as much as we've got. Xenomorph le leather sells for a small fortune. Wow, my god. Um, can we also buy some... We need new training for making the health shards as well. Maybe that'd be good for when we go on the final hunt against the queen. But for the time being, I think a bit more steel might come in handy. Um, we don't need jade for anything, so I'm going to sell that off. I don't even know if predators can take uh, panoxicillin. That might be a waste. Anyway, um, sell the... Oh, we've got medicine, but we're not using it. I wonder if predators then can't use medicine either. That's probably likely. Um, do you want to buy some tribal wear? Because we're not going to use that one either. And then, that's good. That's fine. So, we, oh, right. We obviously can't afford that, you fool. Uh, let's buy like 500. Um, that's fine. Boom. And we'll keep a little bit of silver for the future as well. But there we go. We finally got our crafting bench then. That, that's all nicely done. Cool. Okay. That's such a big relief because it means we can finally craft ourselves a full set of the predator gear. There we go. There's the little drone. That kind of puts it into perspective. The, the queen is supposedly, I don't know if I ever finished my train of thought, incredibly difficult to fight. It's apparently very fast and regenerates health quite quickly. Got a massive health pool anyway and hits really hard. So we've got to be very careful when we actually go and kill this thing. But it feels like a bit more of a fair fight now that she's actually got like a, like something to defend her. It's still not massive. Um, how many eggs are there exactly? That seems like quite a lot. 200 exactly eggs. Wow, no, 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 that's just the limit. There's like 200 and, there's like 210, slightly more than that on the map. My God. Okay. And then the fungus is obviously spread quite far as well. I do want to get rid of that so that they are forced to go through the hive rather than being grabbed by the, although the fungus takes a long time to set in. So I wonder if, and look, they've, they've killed the Neomorphs off. The queen is annihilating these Neomorphs. I wonder if when people do raid us and obviously get caught in our big long labyrinth here, whether even if they are hit by the strange fungus, the, the, the face huggers will get to them first. There we go. Very nice. Okay, so make advanced components. Let's do until X, where X is. We've got to be very careful we don't overspend, because we haven't got that much stuff to start off with. So that would be 100 steel, um, 50 plast steel, and then, like, what, 15 gold? That's not really much at all. The components, though. Oh, we've got a shitload of components. Yeah, we could just about manage that, I think. That works. Rhinoceros became tame. We have named it Timothy. Hello, Timothy. Um... That's really not what we wanted right now, Timothy. I'll be honest with you. So we've got a drone. Now, I think the runners are the ones that go out and hunt, and then the drones drag it back to be face -huggered. Um, Maybe we should send Timothy into the hive. So I'm going to make a, make, a, make an area. A loud area is probably the wrong word for it, but we're going to make an area called hive. Um, and then just maybe send the rhino to go and suicide themselves in there. Go, little rhino. Um... Timothy. I might also send the Wag as well because I'm not really interested in those. Polar bears are cool. We're keeping the polar bears. I don't care about a big wolf. That's not that's not that's not really on brand, is it? Right, off you go. Good luck. And face hugged. My god, he might wipe out. I was gonna say maybe he'll wipe out the whole hive. So I wonder if like a thrumba, there are other variants. Oh look, the drone came and knocked it down as well. I wonder if there are other variants to animals that can come out, or whether it was just like the thrumba thrumba morph is like a unique special one, um, just for fun times. I think the wall is technically done. Oh, no, we're missing this big chunk here. But look, if we follow it around. So when that's done, they'll obviously be forced through this cave. We need to do a little bit of mining here and there. So they can't get through there right now. We'll obviously get the last bit reinforced. Can't get through there. They are forced up through to this zone here. Now, for traders, they could just leave out the top of the map there, which is fine. That's, there's not much we can do about that unless we... Uh, I'd have to get way close to the nest and, and sort of do like a big loop. So force them like down through this way and then loop up through the top there. I'm not going to do that. It'll just get us killed. Um, yeah, all we've got to do now is mine through there and mine through there. And then any raiders that come through, because the only way they get to our base is through here. This is all contained. They have to come through here and the only way they get to there is through the nest. So uh, I might also as well do a little bit of reinforcement here just to stop sappers very quickly finding a shortcut through there because that would suck. Um, what's the drone doing right now? I wonder if the drones can be infected by... Uh, I, I would assume they can't be infected by the strange fungus. Look, the drone is... This is why we wanted a drone. The drone just cocooned him up, so now he can't move. Deep sleep cocooned, and then it'll do the same thing to the... The wild got back up and killed it! You madman! 
Holy shit, it killed the- you fuck. Okay. Well, never mind. We're gonna get two runners out of it. That's really, really annoying that we finally got a drone and then our fucking dog kills it. Unreal. But I decided the other thing to do as well, just in case the hive does eventually kickstart, we don't want the runners rushing down our base. And also for any raiders that do somehow manage to survive it, I'm starting to put down a little bit of a security zone here. So we got some batteries. I need to roof over those very quickly though, don't I? Um, this way... Excuse me, can I have some limestone? This way we can... Keep our base nice and safe a little bit. We can we can be a bit more a bit more careful about how things go. Uh, I'm gonna put another wall actually down here so they can't just shoot at the they can't just take pot shots at the generators. Okay, so that way they are forced down here. We'll put some turrets in there. To be honest, I should have moved this whole thing back a little bit more. You know what? I am gonna do that very briefly just so the turrets get at maximum range. That way we can kill any aliens coming around the corner. Not oh, another one. Oh my god, this is another one of the alien ships, isn't it? Wow. Okay. Um. Yikes, hello. Oh, that's where you <laughs> that's where you landed. Okay, so how do we want to do this? <clears throat> we could end up unleashing multiple queens on things. So here's the plan. Uh we're gonna let the facehuggers deal with themselves, okay? Then we'll just let the facehuggers go off, facehugger animals, whatever the fuck they gotta do. Basically, whenever facehuggers come out of eggs, they will just go butt wild. However, it's when <clears throat> sorry, I'm losing my voice a little bit. It's, it's when you walk over the eggs that they'll actually wake up. But when, the, when they're actually on the map, they're on the map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send Jeff and Peter Data just to go take some pot shots at the ship. Just to wake them up, and then they're going to run home. Uh, in fact, no, you know what? It's just going to be Peter Data. You go home. You stay here. Let's take a little careful, careful little shot. There we go. Run back. Run and run as fast as you can. Hopefully the drones and the... Stop, stop shooting the face, huggers. Fuck. Pipe that in. Hey. Uh, auto fire, turn them off. Where's, where's auto fire? Fire at will. There we go. Turn off. Go home. Now the facehuggers are just going to go and get whatever they can. So one facehugger, so the two royal facehuggers you can see are still around. They're probably going to get killed. Uh, but if not, we're looking at multiple queens. <gasps> oh, okay. Whoa, 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 one definitely attached then. So one royal facehugger is attached and it looks the same as any other facehugger, so it's quite difficult to tell them apart. You're going for a rhino. This one is almost certainly dead. Yeah, there you go. So one ro royal facehugger attached. What happened to the drones? Are you going to go to the nest, or are you just going to hang around and wait for us to murder you horribly? I guess we're going to murder it horribly? Oh, no, it seems to be going home. Hey, that's cool. There we go. Oh, or not. Uh, it's hanging around the spaceship, maybe. Ah, yeah, that's almost certainly what's happening. Okay, could you fuck off now? Right, drone's down. Let's just go smash this ship very quickly. That should be another advanced component, right? So that means another plasma caster. Oh, my God, there's fungus right there. Holy shit. Now, apparently it's only when it's fully grown that it fucks us up. So I'm going to very, very quickly cut that. And if it infects us, I'm going to be very annoyed. It, was that it? Is that the only one? It's, as far as I can see, that was the only one anyway. Let's get those moved. Now, let's very quickly move the animals with the facehuggers on them to the, to the hive cave. That way we don't have to worry about it. That way we're not going to be fighting a load of runners or whatever happens to come out of them. Or queens, more specifically. That could be a bigger problem. Um, so I want to go to furniture and then animal sleeping spot. And we're just going to go ahead and dump those right at your threshold. There you go. That's your problem now, my friend. This is a job for our most senior predators. We're going to send Jeff and Peter Data to go and get these things gone. I especially don't have to worry about... Were there not other ones that were also facehuggered? I don't remember where they ended up. Uh, oh, there's one there. Um, and that's just a regular facehugger. And then... I swear there was, like, more than that. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. Just get them moved. We can move them while they've got the uh, while they've got the facehuggers on them, luckily enough. I hope they don't, don't, like, detach as we're on our journey. Okay, well, let's see how this goes. And there's a dead royal facehugger there. That was the one that we shot earlier. Right, okay. Put them, put them down. And then what I also want to do... Problem solved. There we go. Uh, what I also want to do is wake... Uh, is move the... Where have they gone? Where, where have the Crypto Sloop caskets gone? Maybe it didn't have any in this one? I feel like I'm losing my mind here. Did it not have Crypto Sloop caskets? I guess not. That's fine. That's okay. I was going to say we'll reinstall them up here and then unleash the humans and then go and let them run through the nest and get infected. But to be honest, we've already given these aliens enough anyway. I don't want to accidentally don't want to accidentally get all of my guys killed. Right, so that's pretty good then. So that's that dealt with. We've dealt with the, the, the fungus as well. This does count as an alien nest now, I guess, because it's got that strange floor texture. Um, I'm not sure. We'll see how that goes. Is there something else I have to... Oh, the cassowary. Right, right, right. Yeah, move move the cassowary as well. Then I've got to remember to restrict these guys back to the area. So back to area one, I think, was safe. I, I should rename it to, like, safety zone. Right, was there anything else? I've got to just keep an eye out. Were there any other facehuggers I missed or forgot about? I think we're safe, aren't we? Because that one was killed by the rhino, so that one's dead as dicks. Okay, we're good. Well... This has been a fun little adventure then today. We've basically built ourselves a very, very nice little nest here for the ultimate predator hunt. Put those guys down and then you... Nope. No, you need to stop doing that right now. You need to go home. 
Run as fast as your little legs will carry you. Very cool. Okay. So the wall is now fully built. It is absolutely fully built. We just need to do a little bit more mining, but of course the mining job right now is consist of... Uh, oh, the, the bedroom's done. Right, so they should start actually start mining out the mountains then. So that the next raid that turns up, no where they spawn in on the map, to get to us, they have to go through the nest. This is going to be very cool. And there we go. The cassowary is done. And then what's this one? Uh, the royal face hugger is still alive. Okay. And it's actually hunting as well. Can that produce more of them? Okay, we need to be very careful then. Uh, normally when the face hugger is detached, as we saw with that other one, they just wander around until they die. Or at least they all have so far. Maybe the royal face huggers follow a different set of rules. If we hide here, it will go and try and fight something else. Probably another rhino and get itself killed. <gasps> Is that another queen? Oh, God. Okay, Peter Daisy, you're still... Okay, unrestricted. Haul it back. We have accidentally set up the world's greatest queen breeding program? I'm not sure I'm a fan of this. I don't think we should let too many queens spawn in. Also breaks the rules of alien because when they when they do that there unless maybe the queens follow different rules but I'm pretty sure they don't I'm pretty is that a flame turret oh my god okay oh it's just the gun of a flame turret though well how the fuck does that work uh can we can we put like a turret mount down then and install it onto that I have no idea uh production uh no sorry it'll be like security turret turret mount uh your guess is good as mine here team. If anybody knows what to do with that, that would be great to know. For the time being, then we'll just haul it back to base, I guess. Green delivery for my alien friends. There you go, buddy. You enjoy that one. And then Peter Data, you are going to haul ass out of there. This is the stupidest thing we've ever done. I think I've accidentally unleashed like three different queens onto us now, haven't we? So that one's royal embryo post-impregnation. They, they take ages to grow, as we've seen previously. That one's late, that one's late, and then that one is still pre. I wonder if they have like a certain amount of times that they can... Uh, that the royal face huggers can can carry on. I guess we'll we'll see. If it if it spawns again, I might just kill it. I might just kill it because I don't want to have that many queens. Oh, there we go. I guess they're good for two uses then. I guess they're good for two uses because now it's now it's dead and it's not coming back. Thank God for that. Okay. Um. So the rhino is also infected by the. What happened to the other one? What happened to the? Is it still running around somewhere? Because they take a long time to gestate, don't they? Um. Oh, there it is. Uh, so you have a royal embryo in there. Yeah, there we go. So I think we're going to end up with like three queens. Because so is this one. This is so strange. This is really, really weird. I wonder if the runners will help out or whether we should have... Whether we do need another drone. Oh, shit. There's another one. I missed one. Okay, kill that runner. Uh, fire at it. Can we even... Oh, there we are. Take it down. Take it down. We can we can barely hit it because it's... Uh, there we are. Okay, we're good. Um, I don't want runners on this side of the map because they will just get in our way and annoy us. Basically, that's the whole reason I'm building this whole turret section over here. So one thing I'm doing very quickly as well is just building a couple of... of uh, doors in the walls so that we can obviously get outside if we need to, if, if say there's cargo pods, or just to do maintenance or even thicken the walls up, say that sappers start being an issue, whatever really. Oh, for fuck's sake, Jeff. Okay, Peter Data, your job then. And then that's it. We are done. Our wall is officially complete now. So look, they're just digging the shortcut through there. That's exactly why I had to put this down so that they could actually get to that to dig it out. But then when a raid turns up, they have to go through the nest. So that means premium extreme war crimes, especially now that we've potentially got three queens as well. We'll see how that goes tomorrow. Thank you all for watching today. It's been a fantastic episode for building the ultimate hunt. I don't know if you noticed there, just quite at the very last end screen, there was about 400 eggs on the map. So this is going to be extremely dangerous. And a big thank you to the insane top tier level patrons for making the series possible in the first place. A big shout out to Alchemia, Anthony Gawley, Sunakurato, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Bellic Stromba, Ben Hofflin, Chesty, Croesus, Chris, Derek, DKO, Donald, Fukuna Vasquez, Gogolus, Harik, Harry McGowan, Huey Longdong, Iguana Squad, James Shea, Jonah Waters, Justin Wallace, Kanan Carter, Michael Mullen, Nostrus, Necrophilon, Odie, Pelvis Presley, Paul, Rodin, Scott, Skaz, Slippinips, Somnus, Shea, The One Ring, Tom Terror 18, Tyler Kendall, Tyler McClam, Vacuous Packers, Dragon, and William Green. Big shout out to these guys for the support the insane tier lovers on patreon i can't believe that that list is that long particularly as there's a reason i call it the insane top tier list is because it's it's crazy it's absolutely insane so thank you guys for that speaking of long lists we have two of the largest patreon lists i think we've ever had on the channel so this is you have to bear with me on this one big thank you as well to uwu daddy astro and in person adrian ellison alex bogart aiden m andrew walsh andrew wilson anchor art and p astro attila vetimus max better valerian blood for the blood god Brittany lee buen gun chris corgi circus cogzel dapper go derek f don don 27 
Dylan F, Emerald Beam, Foosh, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Gothamo, Gray, Haji Dumar, I'm Sagatair, Icy the Great, Irotha, Jackson P, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, Jason Sushu, Jose, Jeebus Crust, Yoran DeVries, Jessica Smith, Jeff's Lucky Sister, Jilly Vondel, Joseph Beer, Justin Rules, Justin Plot, Justin Walters, Kevin Saunders, Kane GB, Lepus, Layla, Llewellyn Thomas, Luke Wallace, Manuel Bosic, Martin J, Mastolp, Monty, Mostly Sampson, Munda Difflin, My Name Isn't Dio, Nathaniel Lundberg, Nick, Olivia Kaiser, Organized Confusion, Pan Samu, Panther Pearl, Peyton Denisar, Kamar Ishmael, Bright Ace, Russian Algar Billionaire, Ryan Hooper, Sam Kier, Scaps, Shardul, Smirtworm, Silkworm, Smooth Octopus, Socrates, SuperDanny089, Sweetsy, Talar, Tioma, Tony Laban, Volta, Voodoo Mumbo, Void Prince Kibo, Wesley C, Will Wade, Wilson Atef, Yellow 4, Yorker, Zack and Zetlock 2. See you guys all tomorrow for Premium Automatic Raid War Crimes.